So welcome, we're on the Solid State Logic booth. My name's Sam Bath and we're here with Info Music Poland. Now, today we want to show you Sigma Delta, the latest update to our analog summing engine. Now, Sigma was released roughly two years ago now, um, but we've now updated it to be a little more in line with our larger format consoles, Duality and AWS, um, and we've updated the automation system. Now, Sigma itself is a 16 stereo channel analog summing engine that runs into two mix buses and it's remote controllable. Um, until recent, you had to set up the control by emulating a control surface, i.e. MCU or Huey surface, and you'd have 16 blank tracks inside of the door that allowed you to automate the faders because we are remote controllable. But what we have now done is we have integrated Delta. Now, Delta is a plugin you place inside of Pro Tools, for example, and it speaks directly to the analog faders of Sigma. And there's a couple of cool ways that we can use this. Number one is if I'm in the box use on analog summing, I can use the plugin. I can write automation into the Pro Tools automation lanes, which will then allow me to edit, copy, and paste. Just to show you, if we point at Sigma here, the signal flow runs as input, meter, fader, mix bus. So input, meter, fader, mix bus. Now, currently, we have input to the channels, but nothing hitting the mix bus. If we look at the plug-in here, and I raise this fader, we start to get audio into the mix bus. So the way we set Delta up is we say we want to speak to Sigma, the channel, and the channel number. So we can essentially automate the levels and the cuts. Now, what we've also done is we've integrated Sigma to talk directly to an MCU surface. So today we have the Nucleus controller. And if we look at the remote here, I will quickly pull this up. We have set up an MCU layer called Delta MCU. And this essentially allows us to get the Sigma and the Nucleus talking directly to each other. Now, until recently, we also had um, a method of accessing the Sigma control panel, which was actually through an IP system. So you type in the IP address of Sigma into, for example, Google Chrome. But what we've done now is we've created an app. And the app is essentially the center point of the control for Sigma and the plugin. And what we can do from the nucleus is actually access all of the controls inside of um, Sigma. So I can route to my mix buses, I can control my levels, I can change from mono to stereo, and even use the pans. Now, what this essentially allows us to do is use this like it was an analog console, so a standalone analog system, but in fact we're using it in the hybrid studio. If we look at Pro Tools, all of the automation information is actually stored inside of the Pro Tools automation chain so we can actually come along, cut up our audio like I said earlier on and copy and paste the analog automation data around our session. So that's the update to Sigma. Um, thank you for visiting the booth today and uh, have a good show.